sun has set. You feel that the temperature has started to drop. You feel it get a little bit more chilly than it was before. You've been enjoying Call of Duty, having really good games, getting into really awesome lobbies. And so you decide to go ahead and get some new blood to kind of palm some faces on. So you leave your current lobby and go into a new lobby. As you enter the game and you run around, you realize that you haven't found anybody and it's two minutes into the game. You're like, what the hell's going on? You check to see if there's people actually on the other team playing the game, and apparently they are. So you keep on running around and running around. You still can't find anybody until BOOM! You get shot. And you're like, how the hell did that happen? I didn't even see anybody. I haven't seen anybody for this entire time. So you wait for the kill cam to pop up, and you see that it's some guy laying down prone in the very, very, very far reaches of the map. Reachers that we never even knew existed. Hard scoping with the target finder. You check the time and you realize it's after midnight and that's when all of the crazy, crazy people that none of us love in Call of Duty start to come out. <laughs> I know that was a little extravagant for an intro about Call of Duty after midnight, but that is Call of Duty after midnight. And people call me a tryhard and call other people tryhards because we run around and we jump around and we drop shot and all this stuff. But I say that the biggest tryhards of all are those guys that hop on Call of Duty after midnight in a full party playing against random people. They're sitting at the back of the map. The guns that you see the most are target finding LMGs. I say that they are the biggest tryhards because they're trying so hard not to die. They are sitting in a game for like, it's like four minutes in arms race. It's like 10 minutes in domination. But they're sitting there in a corner between five to ten minutes waiting for somebody to come by. They're trying so incredibly hard not to die. So my advice to anybody, if you want to have really good games on Call of Duty, is just to avoid playing after midnight because those, for some reason, there's something about 12 o'clock <laughs> that just brings those guys out of the woodwork. All of a sudden, you start getting killed by LMGs more often than you were before. The pace of the game slows down dramatically. And that's when you realize it's after midnight. So for my advice to anybody, if you're trying to have really good games, is to play super, super, super early in the morning. And when I say super early in the morning, I mean like before midday. That is easily the easiest time to play Call of Duty. I can get like eight games in a row where I go flawless in the morning. But at night, it's like, nah, bro, that's not gonna happen eight times in a row. But after midnight, you definitely want to try and avoid that. And I'm not the only person that has said this. I know that I've heard at least just Thunder has tweeted it out a bunch of times, like, stay away from Call of Duty after midnight because it's full parties, it's a super, super campy game, they're really slow-paced, an arms race game, can even go to time. I've had kill confirm games and arms race games go to time after midnight. I'm like, what the holy crap? A game type that takes four minutes to end is actually going to time. That's when you know it's after midnight. And I honestly have absolutely no clue why this is. If you guys know why, then please let me know. It might just be a placebo effect. It might just be now that I had a bad experience after midnight, I now think that it's hard after midnight all the time so that's very true it could be a placebo effect but i personally don't think it is i really don't think it is game types are definitely slower after midnight if anyone can explain it to me i will be open ears because i would really like to know the only thing that i can think about is okay after midnight kids are in bed right so it's not the kids so it must be like a group of 40 year old guys who call each other and say hey let's go in a party and let's go play some call of duty and then they just decide to all sit in quarters that's my hypothesis. <laughs> Let me know what your hypothesis is in the comment section. And Tobias is about to knock over my monitor, my microphone, my bottle of water and everything. Yep, there it goes. So I apologize for all of the ruckus that he is causing. I'm gonna have to record Tobias messing up my recording sessions one of these days because I will sit down to record a video and it'll probably take me 10 times longer to record something than somebody else just because of Tobias and his noise making. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget to let me know your hypothesis in the comments section, and I'll speak to you later. Bye.